Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. Great to see you again and thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, a few weeks back I did a quiz of trying to name the largest oceans, seas, bays, lakes, etc. in the world. And on that theme, uh, we're now trying to name the 25 longest rivers in the world. If you stick around after this quiz, there'll also be a bonus of trying to name the longest rivers in Europe. Because um, I thought that might be quite interesting as well, especially as a lot of my viewers come from Europe. Hi Europeans. Uh, so yeah, we have eight minutes for this quiz. As always, the link is going to be in the description below. Have a go yourself. Let me know how you got on in the comment section. I'm sure some of you will beat me. And we will learn things we didn't know, because there's no chance I'm going to get all 25 of these rivers. Cool, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, where to start? Uh, let's start in Europe. There's only one in Europe here, which will be the Danube. Excellent. And then the longest one in Russia I know is the Lena. There's also the Ob, uh, the Volga, excellent, which is the one that runs north from the Caspian Sea. And this is the Ob Utish, and I'm not sure what this one here is. Is it the Irkutsk? Irkutsk? Hmm, I've heard that before, I think. Anyway, let's move on to China, because there's at least three or four I know in China. Uh, there's the Yangtze, obviously, which I think is the... Um, longest in China. Uh, there's the, is the Pearl River one? No, but the Yellow River will be. The Pearl River runs to Guangzhou, but I guess it's not one of the largest in the, um, uh, in, or 25 largest in the world. And then we've got this one here, which runs through North China, and I'm guessing through maybe Beijing. And I have been to Beijing, um, but I can't remember if it's there's a river there or what the river is called, if there is. Anyway, let's go down to uh, Southeast Asia. Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, etc. is the Mekong. It's kind of the um, lifeblood of uh, Southeast Asian countries there. There's a massive delta at the south of Vietnam. Australia, I think, is just called the Murray Darling. Perfect. I think it's either two rivers or it's co named. Uh, and then this one in that comes up through, whoops, uh, Pakistan and kind of northern indian subcontinent is the indus i guess yeah perfect okay great then of course we've got the nile which runs down through um egypt sudan all the way to lake victoria is that right and the congo and i think the other one might be the niger river perfect oh, what are the rivers are in africa there's the um orange river the limpopo river a few others okay good uh northern canada we're going to have the mckenzie it might actually be Mackenzie, I think. Is that right? Perfect. And Yukon, I guess. Great. Uh, in North America, it would be the Rio Grande, which is the one that's um, kind of the border of the USA and Mexico. And then we're going to have the Mississippi. And the Missouri, does it count as a separate river? It does. It's an offshoot of the Mississippi, and actually longer, I think, than the Mississippi. So if anyone ever asks you what the longest river in the U.S. is, it's the Missouri, not the Mississippi. Okay, Amazon, we know for sure. Uh, Parana is a river, right? Good, that's the one that kind of runs up from the River Plate in Argentina to central, um, uh, central Brazil. And I don't know what this one's called. There is the Orinoco River, but I think that's more northern uh, South America, like Colombia and that, and Venezuela. So we're missing six. So there's the one in China is one. This one in Russia is two or possibly three. And then we're going to have two offshoots of the Amazon and one more in Brazil. And honestly, guys, I think this might just be it for me, unless I can pull any more rivers off my head. Or out of my head or out of my brain. Um, I don't know if I can know any more South American rivers. My only chance would be seeing if I could remember any of the other Russian rivers. So there's the Volga, the Irtush, is it like the Siberian River? It would be too easy, wouldn't it? Uh, what could it be? Um, the Akuts? I'm just thinking of uh, Lusk territories now. Okay, let's call it and see how, uh, which ones we missed. Okay, so Lower Tungusaka, uh, Yenesi River, and the Amur River was the one in northern China, and then down in South America, there's the Sao Francisco, the Pudus, and the Madeira, neither of which I would have been able to um, pull out of the recesses of my brain, because I didn't think I've heard of them before. 
Let's check out the stats, see how people did. Cool, so everyone got the Nile Amazon, and in fact, I'm pretty much on um, track with how most people did. The OB, 22% um, of people got that, and yeah, the ones I missed were the ones that were missed most frequently. So that's, um, that was fun. Uh, I have to try and remember the ones I missed. The South American ones might be a little bit easier. And now, uh, since we have a bit more time, we've got our 16 rivers of Europe, and we've got five minutes. Hopefully this might be a little bit easier. And again, quiz link is in the description, so have a go yourself. Uh, and um, yeah, see if you can beat me. You may beat very well. Okay, great. So uh, let's start in uh, Blighty. The UK is the Thames. Uh, I can also see the Seven, the Tyne, the Clyde, and a couple of other rivers on there. Don't worry, I'm not going to sit down and name all the ones I am. Um, I can name on this map. I'm only looking for the ones with a question mark. Okay, France. Seine, that runs through Paris. The Rhone, and the Loire is the other one. Perfect. Oh, and there's one down the southwest by like Bordeaux. I'll come back to that. Uh, Spain, Tagus River, that's the one that runs through Portugal. I don't actually know the one in northern Spain, though. Is it mostly on the plain? Maybe. <laughs> uh, Belgium, is that going to be the Muse? It is, perfect. And then there's this long one which uh, starts in the Netherlands and runs all the way down to Switzerland, which of course is going to be the Rhine. Excellent. What else have we got in Germany? We've got the Elba. And then in Poland, there's the Vistula. And one other, which I do not know. Uh, and then in Italy, we're going to have the Po. And by Rome will be the Tiber, I guess. Uh, down south here, uh, coming all this way from Romania, Serbia. Uh, and then I think it goes up here to Budapest and to Vienna is the Danube. And then in Ukraine, is that going to be the Dnieper? And there's also the Dneister, right? But there's nothing else which could be the Dneister because that's in Eastern Europe as well. So we're missing the... This one here between Poland and Germany, which I have a feeling might be a German name as opposed to a Polish name. And the one in southern France and the one in northern Spain. Um, gosh, uh, I'll give myself a minute to try and think about it. What are the German rivers out there? I'm drawing a blank. The Rhine, the Elbe, the... No, French rivers maybe? No, 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 I'm drawing a blank as well. Spain isn't going to be like the San Juan or something, right? No. Okay, guys, I'm pretty happy with 13 hours 16, and I'll try and remember the ones I missed for future videos. Okay, the Oda, yeah, I've definitely heard of the Oda. The Garonne I've heard of, but I probably wouldn't have got that in the Ebro. I learned the Ebro recently, actually, and I thought to myself, oh, that's interesting, I need to remember it. So, note to self, remember the Ebro, and the Garonne, and the Oda. Hey, thanks very much for tuning in, guys, I really appreciate it. Um, congratulations if you beat me, which I'm sure some of you did. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time on Mr. Quiz. Kakitiano, see you later. Bye.